hi guys welcome back to my channel where I do how to videos on various topics in today's lesson I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer your text into speech using natural reader in the last tutorial I addressed how you could do this using note vibes I'm just going to show you how to use natural reader in this tutorial before I get into the video, please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. So you're going to go to your browser and type in Natural Reader Online. Make sure you click on Free Text to Speech Online with Natural Voices. Once you do that, you will see this page here. What you can do is just click on play to hear how it sounds. Drag and drop your files or type paste. Okay, that's Ryan. So here you can change the voices. Let's choose a female. Drag and drop your files or type paste and edit text here. I'm sure you will agree with me that they sound human-like. They sound very nice. So you can adjust the speed right here. Let's see if I click on negative 3, it means they're going to talk slowly. Drag and drop your files or type paste and edit text here. And if I go up, they're going to go faster. Sean, my record. Let's go to number 2 and see. Drag and drop your files, or type, paste, and edit text here. So, it's based on what you need. You can edit according to your needs here. You can choose the voice that you need. There are a number of voices that are here that you can choose from. So, once you have done that, you want to highlight and delete this from the box. Then you can copy and paste your text here. I have pasted this is like an article but this is why I love this method because you you are not limited to a certain amount of words you can do what you need so you want to open audacity I'm going to open a new file once you open audacity you want to make sure that over to your top left your on Windows Wasapi and right beside that you want to ensure that you are on high definition audio device loopback if you are not on these settings it means that audacity is going to record through your microphone but what you need is for audacity to record what is happening on your computer so you want it to record your computer audio so let's go with this and I want you to see when it's recording i'm going to click on play hold on click on play wrong should have clicked record at some point first. in time everyone has experienced a headache some people self-medicate while others wait until the pain goes and some even see a doctor a headache can be defined as pain in any okay and once i stop it i'll just play the audio file in audacity so you can hear notice that my voice is not being recorded because only the computer audio can be recorded with the setting that we placed here everyone has experienced a headache some people self-medicate while others wait until the pain goes and some even see a doctor a head good so remember in audacity you can actually manipulate the files so you can take out the pauses if it is that you don't want any pause in it you can highlight and delete so you can tailor your audio file the way you need it remove certain areas that you may not like then you can go to file export export as mp3 save it in a folder and that's it so this is how you can use natural reader online and get all your text-to-speech needs for free the voices sound natural and it works for me so maybe it will work for you too i hope you learned something new today 
please subscribe to my channel click the notification bell and smash that like button below tell me in the comments if you have subscribed by saying i subscribe thank you for staying tuned to this video see you in the next one